morning. Uh, today we have a talk show that is related with out the President U Teng Sen from Burma. He's, uh, he's already arrived in the United States last night. Uh, he met with uh, some of the Burmese communities from Washington, D.C. at the uh, Burmese Embassy. And then at the same time, people are demonstrating against him. They, they shout that he's a liar. So we would like to uh, uh, explain our opinion about his visit to the United States. Uh, Coco, what's your opinion about his visit? Uh, I'm looking for the last four, three, four years after the election. Uh, I looked, uh, I checked uh, any, uh, any, any chain in Burma. I don't see any positive chain until today. But in our nation and some from the Burmese community, some Burmese leaders, among the Burmese leaders, they think uh, they, they see a lot of positive in today's government. But in reality, you know, there's another chain because of a superficial chain. You know, they, they get some opportunity to open up to, to come in Burma, invest in Burma. This is another real chain. We want some real, real, uh, real chain in Burma. For example, you know, Burma farmers, Burma, you know, Levi's Burma, they don't have any, any opportunity in Burma. You know, this is not real chain because of the things they not come for the representative for the uh, project or army officer general, you know. They come in the United States, they want uh, United States recognition uh, for the their government and they want some uh, investment uh, uh, best in country. This, uh, this is your intention. Uh, your intention. What do you think, Kote Momotui? Yeah, uh, I'm always along the way, I'm always talking about that. Uh, you know, it's very simple. You know, they say he's an ogre. Actually, he's a serial killer. Yes. You know, when he used to be a commander of the Golden Triangle region, yeah. he killed thousands of ethnic people in there. But right now, he come over here under the disguise of a smiley prince, smiling prince, and then, uh, uh, you know, diplomatic, uh, uh, you know, liaison uh, of the elite, diehard military dictators back in, uh, you know, Chapi village. And then uh, he uh, tried to, uh, you know, uh, open the door uh, for, uh, uh, for the, uh, the first time, you know, and this is a follow-up trip uh, set up by initially uh, Senator Jim Webb and then uh, pre uh, Liberal President Obama. And, of course, you know, uh, our uh, celebrity, Aung San Suu Kyi. So this is just, uh, you know, uh, the first step of uh, you know lying, uh, I mean a deceiving process for the uh, world and the Burmese people. Thank you. What do you think, Kumiaso? Uh, I think it's, a, it's a, the same old story. And uh, like in 1966, and the president, I uh, think General Nguyen, yes. came to the visit to America in the Washington D.C. official visit. And then after that, Obama. Uh, uh, living under the military leadership for 26 years. Mm -hmm. So I assume that it is the first step. We don't know how long we're going to be uh, uh, stay under the military leadership again. Because uh, General Teng Sein, right now the President Teng Sein, is uh, came from the military. Um, he came to the visit to America trying to convince uh, international community to uh, political reforms, but actually is there is no real change. Change requires action on the ground, and uh, not from the speech, not from the statement. So when you look at it in Burma, uh, during his administration, been two years already, right? Um, right now, after two years, what did they change? We need uh, some kind of result. Real change. Real change. So first of all, the constitution is not Manager, yet, okay. Um, also, uh, the real education is not changed, not reformed yet. And also, seems like uh, the uh, the current basic administration is just like uh, protecting the uh, military elites and cronies, and you know they are the only one the amnesty in Burma. 
untouchable. Yeah, they're not untouchable. Uh, uh, touchable. And then uh, the whole Burmese population are, you know, not even getting the amnesty yet. So, like I said before, the real change requires action on the ground. And then we have see in Burma right now the uh, human rights is happening everywhere in Burma, and they're not taking that nobody is accountable, responsible. So I think is even though they are trying to convince the real political change, actually on the ground, there's not change yet. Thank you. Uh, my opinion, okay, before I go to my opinion uh, about General Ne Win, he visited the United States, meet with, uh, met with uh, Mr. Johnson, President Johnson in 1966. What I thought was, at the time, Ne Win was forcefully attacking the Burmese Communist Party. I believe the United States supported him. Even he is a military dictator. Sometimes U.S. policy supported who, who really fought against the uh, communists, right? So, so that, that, that that's why Ne Win was supported by U.S. United States, and he been ruled for 26 years under the Iron Grip policy. Okay, and then is uh, another thing is uh, I can say. This transition is a fake, okay. because what we need to do is the role of army. The 25% non-elected army personnel are in the parliament. And then the civilian government that, that was lead, uh, that is leading by General uh, President Kutai Singh has no influence or very little influence on the army. Army has his own power. He is doing by himself, means they have their own power and they not obey the civilian government. Even they not uh, follow the order from the defense minister. So this is not democratic, you know. Mm -hmm. The Bama been ruled by military dictators for 50 years. If they want a real change, the army needs to go back to the barracks. And then if the army generals wants to enter the politics, they need to leave from the army and enter the political party and in the election process. So, in that, that present situation, the army is not control, under control by the civilian government and then they are protecting the elite group of ex-dictators and their family members and their cronies. Let me ask you one more question. Let's uh, what they say met with Burmese community in Norway, right? And the people has a uh, uh, opportunity to ask questions. Okay, he, he actually is, he gave a speech and he left and his uh, ministers answer the questions. But one thing it is, it's good. I, I welcome that situation because 50 years of military dictatorship, we don't have any opportunity like that. Okay, now in VOA Vice of America, there will be a meeting with the community and then in the John Hopkins University. What do you think? If you are in front of president, what question will you ask? I ask the president, you show cooperate with the real people in Burma. Don't cooperate with the opportunity. That's just my opinion. What, what, will, what question will you ask to Mr. President? Ah, uh, things uh, I will ask uh, things say, would you be uh, uh, you know uh, interesting, I mean genuine interest in reformulating the 2008 constitution you know uh, actually uh, 2008 constitution has to be you know uh, scrapped out totally you know because not, uh, you know every uh, in every chapter there is uh, there's always have uh, immunities for the uh, elite military uh, dictators and their cronies so uh, they, they they have overpowering uh, you know uh, role in legislative judiciary and also executive uh, branches of the uh, nation so this is not democracy uh, you may say Burmese way to democracy like you know Nguyen said Burmese way to socialism but actually uh, this, this is uh, you know uh, uh, you know the chocolate uh, infested with the uh, feces inside you know <laughs> quite actually you know so don't lie again like that because uh, right now we have a 21st century and the world has been advancing so fast. 
So you may not lie like before, you know. Okay, uh, uh, I think uh, I would uh, ask only that questions. Okay, so. Yeah, I think uh, they say Vincent is trying to convince international community to uh, uh, they are doing the real change, uh, the political uh, reform. But uh, actually, uh, like they said, on the ground it didn't change it. Yet. So it's President they say if you really would like to change environment, um, the people need to involve in political process and without any political res restriction, even from overseas people trying to help out the, on the country. And that is the very important. Uh, Burma being uh, brain drained for a long time, and they do really need uh, the uh, the people from overseas. Uh, another thing is the uh, uh, if you if you really want to change, um, the first step is you need to change constitution. Uh, Two thousand eight. So my point is, if he really uh, uh, committed to uh, change in Burma, and uh, the change really require action on the ground, not from the speech, not from the uh, statement. So my point is, you need to be a, uh, let everybody to involve in political process, and uh, uh, it's right now in Burma it's just opposition and uh, military party. That's the only two party. Uh, playing the role in Burma. So the rest of the people, middle class and uh, the rest of the uh, politicians are uh, out of the uh, uh, scope from the reform process. So because of some kind of political restriction, even for the uh, people from overseas. So uh, my point is not just for, do not do for the show. For me, if I'm in front of things, if I have opportunity in front of President, Mr. President, I will ask him, you want us to come back to build a country together. If you really want, you need to do the general amnesty for the activists from inside of Burma and overseas. You need to try to announce the general amnesty. And the second thing, if you want a real change, from the help of the educated people uh, who, who left the country, who left Burma and who sacrificed for Burma, if you want to do this, just get rid of 25% non-elected military personnel. Put 25% overseas educated Burmese who, who are clean, who are clean and who has no, uh, no corruptions, yeah. who, no corruptions Plus, they have experience in various fields. Let them enter and then let them talk in the parliament. It will go to the right direction to the country. Thank you very much. And let's see what will go on.